Hello, my friends. I think it's time for a TK quick tip. This time, how to vignette or darken the edges of your photos without over darkening the shadow details. If you're already a TK8 panel user, then you'll be able to put this tip directly to good use. If you aren't familiar with the T8 plugin and you want to get some more info, I put a link down in the thing. The mass calculator in the TK8 plugin is an advanced tool for combining the elements of multiple mass together into one mask. The possibilities for adding and subtracting mass is pretty unlimited, but I'm going to show you a handy mass calculation that I use all the time when vignetting or darkening the edges of an image. I add some amount of edge darkening to quite a few of my photos to help create depth and contain the eye. If there are very dark tones near the edge already, adding the vignette can over darken and those dark shadow details can get lost. In such cases, I want to darken the highlights and the mid-tones around the edges, but I don't want to darken those very darkest shadow details that are already too dark. So here's what I do. I usually apply my vignette or my edge darkening towards the end of my workflow when the rest of the developing on the image is pretty much complete. And an easy way using the TK8 combo module to add a vignette is to go to the TK menu and just run the vignette action. And I'll go ahead and click OK on that radius for the blur. And so there's the vignette layer and that's what the vignette looks like. And I like the effect of the vignette, but it is over darkening. I'm losing detail back in some of these shadowed areas that I don't want to lose. So here's what you do next. We go to the My Channels source in the Multimask module, and we load the layer mask, which is the mask that's on this active layer. That's the vignette mask. So we'll go ahead and load that into Multimask. And there it is. That's what that standard vignette mask looks like. And now I want to go to Mask Calculator. And I'm going to subtract. I want to subtract from this vignette mask. And I need to get out of my channels and come over to the Luminosity Mask Source so that I can subtract the dark tones out. So I need a darks mask. And it's almost always usually a darks 3 or a darks 4 that I want to subtract. In this case, I'm going to subtract a darks 3. So now I just need to click Equals to complete the calculation. And there it is. There's my initial vignette mask. And now those dark tones have been subtracted from the outer edges. So now all I need to do is apply this mask to that vignette layer to change out the old mask with the new one. And that's done with the Apply button right here in the Output section. So I'll go ahead and click Apply. And now there's that new mask on the vignette layer. If we take a look at it, that's that custom mask we made. And we can see now that that vignette is doing a great job of darkening those edges, but I'm not losing that fine detail back here in the trunks and uh, the shadows that I was losing with the regular vignette. And I'll turn that vignette layer off. And to recap, let's try it again, but this time doing the freehand vignette action that's in the TK action menu here. And for this one, you get to make the shape of your vignette be whatever you want. You can use any sort of selection tool. I'm going to use the lasso tool. And this allows me to draw a vignette that is the shape, a custom shape that I want. So something like that. And now I just run freehand vignette. And there's that freehand vignette. You can see what that mask looks like. So from here, the procedure's the same. I would go to the My Channel Source, load that vignette as a mask in the Multimask module, and then go to Calculator and Subtract and get over to the Luminosity Mask Source and pick the Darks 3 and click equals to complete the calculation. And there's that custom mask. And we're going to apply that using the apply output button to the freehand vignette layer. And so there's that freehand vignette. And I could even bring up the opacity a bit. And that's my freehand vignette. And that's how you do it. 
So as I said, the possibilities for creating calculated mass is unlimited, really. But this particular use is one that I use all the time. It's easy and it consistently works. So thanks for joining me for this TK quick tip. I hope it was a good one and I look forward to seeing you again soon.